title, but just to make sure, sure. I've got everything, go ahead. My name is Grant Callen. I'm the president of Empower Mississippi. So talk to me, first of all, about the purpose of today. Why did we bring these parents and these educators and these students to the Capitol today? Today's event was the annual school choice rally at the state capitol, and we had parents and students and families from across the state that converged on the capitol from as far as DeSoto County and Tupelo and Hattiesburg and the coast. They all came together in celebration of school choice, and we all came uh, on the, the belief that parents ought to be able to direct the education of their kids. And too often today in Mississippi, parents don't have enough choice. If if the traditional district school that you're assigned to is not meeting your needs, you don't have a lot of options if you're low income. And so the purpose of this was to come together to celebrate choice. Some of those options we already have, like charter schools or the special needs ESA or dyslexia scholarships, but to also tell lawmakers that we need more. Until every student in Mississippi has the ability to choose their school, our work's not done. And so that's one of the things that you know we keep posting about school choice on Facebook. And the one question we always see is, well, what is school choice? You mean I have a choice? I don't have to be stuck with the school I'm at? So, so talk to me just a little bit about what school choice in and of itself is. Well, we want to see every kid actually have the choice of going to a private school or a public school or a magnet school or a charter school. Um, and that the, the, the education dollars assigned to that student and some vehicle ought to follow the student to the school that best needs, meets their needs. Too often today, we say it all the time, for people who have the financial means, they've had school choice for years. Parents every day are making decisions about where to live, what neighborhoods to live in because of the schools, and they're making decisions about whether to pay for private school tuition. But for parents who don't have the financial means to do either of those options, they're, they're stuck right where they are. And so we want to see it, uh, new scholarship programs and existing scholarship programs that the state can pass to put money in the hands of parents that can direct that to whatever school meets their needs. So talk to me about these charter schools. We have three currently, but they're all in Jackson. Now I know there's a fourth that's being discussed. Is it also in the Jackson area? There's a number of charters that are being discussed and are varying degrees of uh, being started. Uh, there's, a, there's a rigorous application process for charters to come in, and we've got a number that are going to be submitting an application in other parts of the state. We've got a school in Clarksdale that is looking to get underway. There's some, some that have talked about coming to other parts of the Delta, um, and that's great. But as you mentioned, there's currently three in Jackson, and they're serving kids well. They're doing better and better every year. But we just want to see more options. We want to see more charters in other parts of the state uh, that need them. And so you mentioned a rigorous process. Is it too rigorous? Well, look, I applaud the state's charter authorizing board who has put a high bar for any kind of new charters to be created. They have uh, wanted to make sure that we, we have good schools with a strong business plan and a community that wants them. Um, charter schools are not about somebody in Jackson deciding where schools can be. It's about a local community deciding they want to give their parents additional options. And so uh, I, I applaud the, the Charter Authorizing Board for having a high standard. I just want to see more people applying, more people putting together a business plan, more people creating options in their community and bring that to the board and let them make a decision. 